All right, uh, welcome everybody. Axel Fireflyer here again with another trainer chat. Now, alas, we do not have Jetta here today, but we have the manly Mr. Finch. Of course I'm manly. I'm the manliest man alive. Challenge accepted. <laughs> All right, in today's trainer chat, we are going to talk about our goals, our plans, and our hopes and dreams for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire that come out in like a month and like a week. A week in a month. In November. Sometime. So, yes, so what are your big plans as soon as the uh, game comes out? Well, I'm actually part of the Pokemon Club at my university, so the biggest plan is getting in the game, doing a Poochyena run through the game, which is actually something I planned when I first heard about the game. I actually used to play Sapphire, so that's... I did that in that game, may as well do it in this game. Do and of it. course, contests. Yes, Poochie, oh, yeah. bring the power. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, uh, the, the the special Pikachus, I, I want those. Oh, yes. I think the fun thing will be using the Pikachus that nobody will want to use. <laughs> Electric Terrain Pikachu. Oh, yes. I should just make an entire team of those special Pikachus. I think the problem with that is uh, people probably won't accept that to happen. Or maybe a team based around Pikachu. That's... Like having a mul uh Like having Zebstrika with, like, with Motor Drive or something. <laughs> The reason I want to do is just to have, like, an entire, like, waifu cosplayer team. Oh, oh. You need Jinx for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The nope has too I much nope in this. Too much nope? Too much nope. Here, well, the funny thing what is do you I... think about... Oh, go on. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Yeah, the, the weird thing is, I'm actually trying to stay out of the loop as much as I can on what's going on in the uh, the updates on Ruby and Sapphire. I'm gonna say that something that's gonna be difficult because right now everybody's talking about it. That is a really I mean, big. Con <laughs> I love how we always do. I think the funniest. <laughs> I know. That's because we keep thinking we're interrupting each other. Uh, I think the biggest thing is that if you have friends that play Pokemon who are, like, keeping up to date on Oros because they're waiting for those Megas that they want, like Mega Ludicolo or Mega Shiftry, I know people want those, too. People are expecting those, too. But you know what? Mega Mightyena. That's what I want. But anyways, think... they're going to say something. They're going to say something before you even check to see what the update is. So you're going to get spoiled on that no matter yeah, where that, you go. That's my biggest, like, thank heavens. is because the only time I really chat Pokemon is here on Skype. And not too many people really announce too much of this stuff. Because I guess they already suppose everyone already knows it. Now, see, the reason I don't want to know anything is because the last time... I mean, I just did not play a whole lot of Gen 3. Like, after I got my Legendary Pokemon, I actually just stopped. <laughs> I stopped playing a Ruby, ah. Sapphire, and Gold. I mean, it wasn't... I'd have to say it was my least favorite series of the game series. I don't know why it just wasn't my favorite. But I'm definitely going to give it a better shot. I'm really excited. I do know some of the Megas that are out. But I just want everything to be a great big excitement for me. And not like, oh, I'm expecting all of this. I mean, I'm already planning my teams, but that's really about it. Yeah. Honestly, Gen 3 was my favorite. It was actually, it actually came out when I was in elementary school. So I was that kid who was playing Pokemon all the time. And aside from the lack of Pokemon, because during that time, generation, it was the new Game Boy Advance, which means it couldn't. Um, work with like the Game Boy Color games. It still was an interesting concept compared to the typical oh Team Rockets here they're gonna steal your Pokemon, 
Yeah, now they did have some of the greatest villains in the game series. I will give it that. By far, and Kyogre, when you see that Pokemon for the very first time, and I mean, like, if when you're a young kid, you see Kyogre or Groudon or Rayquaza if you played Emerald, you're thinking, oh, geez, these Pokemon are scary. Yeah, I, I played all three. I was, I was in... Oh. Yeah, I was in junior high when the games came out. I thought those were, like, really cool Pokemon. Like, oh, this is about to get real. <laughs> Definitely. I think the one thing I cannot wait for when it comes to Oros is going to be the contest. It's a new dynamic in the game. Like, some people may not want to battle. They may want to do contests. And if it has multiplayer compa uh, capabilities, why not have a contest tournament? Oh, that would be absolutely amazing. Now, see, I loved doing the contests back in the third generation. I actually did that more than going around collecting gym badges and Pokemon. I wanted my photo to be yeah, everywhere. I, I... <laughs> the photo of your Pokemon being amazing. I, I also remember the difficulty of trying to beat the contests when you didn't really have guides online like which Pokeblocks did what how well do you have to do stuff in the Pokeblock mini games to like raise toughness at a certain amount as a kid yeah. that was difficult for me I was just oh go ahead I, I did really well surprisingly like I don't know what I did but I was usually really good at the contest I'm like I feel special and pretty this is the best time of my life. <laughs> I got up to Masters, but I never got past that. <laughs> I think the best Pokemon I had for the contest was a cast form that you got from the weather station. That was it. <laughs> oh. So, so who's going to be your starter? My starter is going to be Trico, all the way. I mine's started gonna... with Trico and Sapphire. I... Oh, go ahead. Mine, mine's going to have to be Mudkip, because usually I pick Fire as a starter, but guess what? I can transfer a Torchic with its Mega Stone. Don't have to worry about True. that. That and <laughs> as awesome as Mega uh, Sceptile looks... Mega Swampert looks like a boss. <laughs> the, I think the thing about Mega Sceptile is that it is Grass Dragon. I know people have that whole, oh, one shot from my shard will kill it, until you look at Garchomp and um, other Pokemon that are four times weak to ice. Uh, but it's, it's this Pokemon that's just has a new dynamic to it. People questioned the lightning rod until they realized, oh, geez, it can actually get powered up from that, and it's already got a decent special attack. As for the Blaziken, I sadly lost Megastone. If you want an extra, I have one. I have no thanks. I'll probably get one when the game comes out. Yeah, true. If I actually, I hope they do the uh, what they did in the X and Y is you get your first turn, then a little down the line, the professor like, you know what? Take another. Oh, that would be amazing. I would love that. I had a fangirl moment as soon as that happened to me in X and Y because, like I said, I wanted to be out of the loop. I was uh, sitting with my grandparents watching uh, an old black and white movie, enjoying it, but I was playing Pokemon at the same time, and I'm sitting there. And I got to the professor's lab, and he's like, oh, choose one of these starters. I'm sitting there, oh my god, I can choose a Cato starter. You know what would be even more amazing? They br if they bring the Johto and the Sinnoh starters. Or not, yeah, you know the starters. Yes. one hundred. Now understand this, those two generations were the only two that didn't have hidden abilities. If they gave you those starters, like, I'm not talking about the distribution, like, from the professor. I mean, like, if they, like, confirm that there's going to be another Friend Safari where they have hidden ability Pokemon, like the Unova and uh, Johto starters, 
that would make the game. Yes. Much yes. I want my Leaf Garden Meganium. <laughs> I just want all the top lotions. Those you want all the top lotions? I, I'm all actually going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something funny. Up until Ruby and Sapphire, my older brother was the one who had the fire starters. He claimed them. He would not let me have them, even if I had my own game. So I always had either the grass starters or the water starters. Did you pull a Gary Oak? Nope. Well, first game I already chose Squirtle because I actually really loved Blastoise. That was my Pokemon, even before he chose Charmander. Um, as for the other two generations, I had Chikorita and Trico. And Meganium kind of wrecked his Typhlosion. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Body Slam, Paralysis, Body Slam, dead. Curse you, Paralysis. <laughs> Those hacks. Uh, uh, Honestly, I... what I cannot wait to... Oh, go no, for it. Keep, no, keep going, go. <laughs> what I keep. really am going to wonder is about Lopunny and Audino. Will they actually show up right up during the story of the game? Are they completely shifting around the Pokemon that appear, or will they show up at the end of the game, um, be available in some other method, and then you get the Mega Stones end game? That would be interesting. That's going to be the biggest question, because I want... It would be interesting, because some of the Megas that did show up, like Mega Gallade, Mega Audino, Mega um, Mega Lopunny, they... Uh, probably Mega Gallade would show up right in the middle of the game, because it is an evolution of Ralts, and you can get Ralts like, right away in the beginning of the game, but the other two didn't show up until later generations. And if this yeah. is, they might just wait until the end of the game before those two are available. Yeah, what which would I be fine by I, me. Yeah, yeah. What I think is going to happen is the post game where you have to hunt for them at like a particular hour, like from like eight to eleven, like they did in X and Y, I believe, and just find them in the random locations. Yes, but I was referring to the Pokemon themselves. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. That's going to be a question. <laughs> that, that could be. I'm actually breeding uh, currently uh, all the I, I, Pokemon. I, yeah, I'm currently breeding all the all Pokemon the, who are going to get Mega Evolution. All of them. I'm getting them ready so I can transfer them over. Have them ready. Uh, I definitely know that my gym team is going to be scary with the new ones coming out. I'm actually a dark type gym leader. We got Mega Sableye and Mega Sharpedo showing up. I I I did see those, and I'm super pumped. No, it's just gonna be ridiculous with Mega Sharpedo, of course, because speed boost and then strong jaw when it Mega evolves. Oh my goodness. Yeah, just wait a few turns to get the couple of speed boosts. Mega Evolve. Or just get one speed boost up, Mega Evolve right away, and just start tearing things apart. <laughs> that's that's going to be awful. I really want Mega Gallade, Mega Salamence, Meta, Mega Metagross. My biggest actually... fear is... My biggest fear is not getting the games on time to get the Mega Metagross. I really want it. But they're doing it the same way as they did Torchic. Jerks. Oh, that means there's going to be plenty of time. I mean, I got my game really late when I got um, X and Y. So I didn't get like Torchic until a month after the game came out. Yeah, as long as I get it, I don't care. <laughs> Honestly, the ones that I'm excited for are Altaria, Low Plenty, Audino, Sableye, and uh, Sharpedo. Those five are going to be really interesting when it comes to Mega Evolutions. 
I would love to watch as Mega Slow King uh, becomes a huge. If threat. that, if Mega Slow King becomes a thing, I am going to build that alongside Mega Slowbro. Oh, Slowbro, that's who I'm thinking of. Oh, okay. <laughs> Although I would love to see a Mega Slow King. That'd be awesome. I want to see a Mega Poly Toad. Yes. But no strong rain for that thing. That is not allowed. <laughs> We're not having it get Kyogre's ability. Me Mega Steelix. Let's, let's see where that goes. Oh, that would be interesting. Um, hmm. What other Megas would be interesting? Especially in the uh, Hoenn region. Yeah, d definitely. Because, I mean, we got so many Mega Evolutions in X and Y, it would not make sense to just have, like, five or six in Oras. Yeah, I'm just going to say, I don't think that Mega Exploud, Mega Linoon, or Mega Slacking are going to happen. Or any of the rodents getting Mega Evolutions. Not quite likely. Yeah, I, I don't see that happening. Especially with Exploud's special attack already doing enough to wreck, wreck teams with that boom burst. Mega sl or regular slacking, there's a reason why it has true on it. Its stats are on par with Regigigas. As for Linoon, oh. I just don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> but what I would like to see is Megatropius. That would be fun. Having all kind, have oranges and bananas. Like, having a really insane ability that makes it just a tank of death. I'm actually trying to think of other uh, Ruby and Sapphire Pokemon, because, like I said, it's been like a hundred years since I've actually played the game. Hmm. How about Chimeco getting a Mega? That would be interesting. Maybe something to completely boost it out of that completely useless range? That people, some people claim it is. Hmm. Oh, wait, nope, uh, that's a Gen 4 Pokemon. Never mind. Mega nope. Whale Lord. Wait. Oh, oh my gosh. Of... Wait, which one were yes. you thinking of? I was thinking of uh, Pachirisu, but I'm like, nope, that's a Diamond and Pearl Pokemon. All right, you know everybody wants Pachirisu and Mega. Yeah, because the world. You know what? Oh, oh, thought of an awesome Mega, Mega Cacturn. <laughs> you just want me to have more Dark-type Megas, don't you? <laughs> I think Dark-types are actually one of my more favorite Pokemon types. I mean, I don't have a specific favorite, despite what my Skype says. But... Oh, I actually, I'm just saying, I absolutely love Dark-type Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon tend to be Dark-types. Well... Aside from Chestnut and Snorlax. Those two are just plain awesome. Agreed. I actually had a uh, free-for-all battle today, and everybody was afraid of that Chestnut. They did not want to deal with it. <laughs> nice. Well, the thing was, I had four bulk-ups up, and I just started killing everything with Hammer Arm and Rock Slide. So they oh. all... Oh, go ahead. So, what do you think everyone's going to hope and beg for now that uh, Ruby and Sapphire are going to come out as the remakes? Because for the longest time, everyone's like, do a Hoenn remake! It's out now. So, what do you think everyone's going to cry about? Are, are you saying, you mean whine about, like, oh, it's not in this game anymore? Or it's not in this game? Or what it's, they still want to happen? But what they want to happen, like a remake, Gen 7... Or whatever, maybe. Because I know, like, a lot of people for the longest time like, oh. do a remake on Hoenn. And, or do a Pokemon Snap 2. <sighs> or... They do. I know this would probably get me people to shun me. Like, they they would probably say, oh, Mr. Finch is a terrible person because he said this. I honestly don't want any more remakes. I am fine with the three remakes. I mean, we still have access to at least Sinnoh right now. And 
Sinnoh by itself is already good enough. It's getting. It was at the stage where it's the DS game, where it has access to all the all the Pokemon. And honestly, I don't really want to go much further than Hoenn when it comes to Remix. It's Hoenn was my favorite of them all. That, that's completely not similar. I kind of don't want any remakes either. I just want them to just keep going. Give me more Pokemon. Because it's getting to the point where I'm willing to just dress up like my own professor, create my own Pokemon, say, here, start a new journey. Oh my gosh, as long as you aren't like the professor I created, you'll be fine. <laughs> she is like the scariest professor anybody would never want to deal with. I think the coolest thing that the gym leader that I thought of when I was a kid was he had one t Pokemon of every type, and you got to choose. So it wasn't just grass, water, fire. It was everything. Ah, that. So not. Yeah, so now that we have 18 types, like here, you want a psychic type? Take this. You want a ground type? Take this. I do like how they stay within the grass, water, and fire because it is that circle, uh, constant cycle of weaknesses and resistance. I just think newer t newer dual typings would also benefit and to avoid four times weaknesses like they did with Chestnut. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... They gave a tanky Pokemon a four times weakness to something. Good job, Game Freak. I mean, Chestnut's still amazing. I mean, think of what it can actually take on. It can actually take on a Mega Scizor. Oof. Yeah. Okay, and who... Who do you prefer, Team Magma or Team Aqua? I'm joining Team Aqua. I don't care if they don't understand how water works. Still joining them. Now, see, when I... The first one I wanted was uh, Ruby because... Fire! But now that I'm older, I, I wanted to get it because I didn't have a Groudon, but I had a Kyogre. But now that I have a Groudon... It's kind of, okay, who do I want more? Both their outfits look awesome. <laughs> yes, my entire opinion of these evil organizations are based on their outfits. Oh, yeah. I, I still remember the old outfits. I love the old outfits still. And when you look at Team Aqua, arg. Oh, don't get me started on pirates. I do Pirate Festival here in Utah every year. Three days straight. Where's Captain Jack Sparrow? I've got a job. Yeah. Oh, you have no idea how many times people want me to do that. Oh. oh. <laughs> Happens all the time. Three days. Where's Captain Jack Sparrow? Where's your jar of dirt? All right. I have to ask this. What do, are you excited for when it comes to Hoenn? My biggest excitement besides some of the new megas that are coming out is sort of the re-opportunity to give the game a chance because it was my least favorite out of the series. I guess the re I just got interested in too many other games and stuff at the time to really invest in it. And I didn't understand, understand much of the diving mechanics. But, I mean, on top of that, uh, now that I'm a bit better at Pokemon battling, because I'm more of a Pokemon professor and a Pokemon philosopher, this will actually be a really good chance to just go back and just redo it. I mean, I know I shouldn't say redoing it, because it's a remake, and not everything's going to be exactly the same, but who knows? And, I mean, I, I plan on... If I can, I'm going to try to get it for my nephews, because they're old enough to start getting into Pokemon. And I think that'd be a lot of fun. I definitely cannot wait for the game. I sadly cannot get it when it comes out, but I'll get it one day. <laughs> um, honestly, the reason why I am excited for it is because it is Ruby and Sapphire, but it has much more to it now. It's got the Mega Evolutions. It's got the Beauty Contest. Or it's got updates to the 
uh, contests where you can now Mega Evolve and do other things with the game. I'm hoping that they at least bring back Pokeblocks, and I hope they still have customization. I know people are thinking, oh, it might not happen because they haven't confirmed it, but if it happens, I'll be happy. I'll be really happy with that. I would love that because our players need to look, have some swag. They they need to dress up like pimps and all that who are. They need Show some class. They need bucket hats. That's what they need. Oh my goodness! Could you imagine? Like depending on which game you got, you can get the outfit for Team Aqua or Team Magma. Oh, that would be amazing. I would love that. I would walk around dressed up as a pirate or magma <laughs> person all the time. <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to wear anything else. I probably, I probably like get the Team Aqua outfit, but then if they had like, I seriously wish they had a bucket hat. They need more customization for the guys by far. Oh, definitely. Because you see, like the girls' outfits, they have like everything. And then like, the guys look 1, like eleven hundred shirts. 15 different pairs of pants, 100 different jackets, 200 hats. Guys, you have like yeah. five or six of everything. Yeah. It's like they're thinking, oh, they don't care about customization. You don't understand how customization works in games for other people. <laughs> we want to look different. I, wouldn't, I want to dress up like Team Aqua and wear a bucket hat instead of a bandana. I I want to feel fabulous. I don't want to wear the same thing day in and day out. That's Ash Ketchum's job. Actually, that's any anime character's deal. You know what? Ash Ketchum's fired. He's never. He was that. never hired. Or was he? Dun dun dun. Duh. <laughs> Oh, I did not mm. die just there. Or did you? I did twice. Mega Grumpig. M Mega Grumpig. That, oh, no. I, I, I'm I saying no in the sense of that would be frightening to see. But design I, or how much power it would have? I'm thinking of how much bulk it would have. I'm thinking if it, if it were to Mega Evolve, it'd probably be a tank. It'd probably be a special wall. And then on the other hand, you have like a Mega Hariyama. That would be amazing. Yes. All the yeses. All the yeses. Ugh. I, I can't think of any other Hoenn Pokemon that should... Uh have really awesome mega evolutions. I'm actually thinking about that right now. I'm tr well, besides Milotic, everybody wants Milotic. What about Mega Breloom? Mega Breloom would be interesting. That would. Especially if we get out, got an alternative ability to then technician or effects for like if it got some uh maybe Iron Fist. That could work. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Like, it's huge boxing gloves when it mega evolves. <gasps> oh, Mega Whalerin needs to be a Mega. Mega who? Whalerin. The, uh... Walrain. The, oh. Yeah, the Walrus. Uh, I was actually thinking about that today, too. I was thinking of uh, making a team of ball Pokemon, ball-shaped Pokemon. Because I was like, Mega, Mega, or not Mega, but Glalie, nobody really uses him that much. I want to try him. He's pretty useful. I kind of like him. But see, I was thinking because my one of my favorite animals is the walrus, because I think they're <laughs> And I always wanted a pet walrus. I would name him Charles. So I want to get... I want it. I want to get this feel. Name it Charles. Get up to its final evolution. Give it the Mega. Then have a Mega Charles. A Mega Charles. Charles. Yes, Charles the Walrus. Charles. Charles. Give him a little top hat, <laughs> little monocle, fancy walrus. All mega kinds of swag. 
I'm I'm picturing Mega. it. It just eats the other Pokemon. It doesn't care. Use gaping mouth. <laughs> Use devour palper. Uh Mega Ludicolo would be all interesting. Mega Shiftery. That would be fun. Especially if you got like what's a map. The... What what's Corefish's evolution? Crawdon? Crawdon. Mega Crawdon. Oh my That thing is scary without a mega evolution. It gets Dragon Dance. <laughs> and then it's got a New meta to everybody. New everybody meta. Kind of mega Crawdon. New meta, Mega Crawdon, keeps adaptability, but gets a massive increase in attack. Oh my goodness, I'm... Oh, uh, okay, massive attack, and I, I kind of wanted a speed boost, too, for kicks and giggles. Oh, jeez. Um, maybe not speed boost, because its base speed's, like, in the 50s, as of right now. I would say it would become, like, a bit slower... And then get an increase in its defenses and attack. Like, it gets 150 what? attack and it, with adaptability. Breaks it, everything. Just destroys everything. It gets Aqua Jet. Game over. I have a Sableye on the field that's using Rain Dance. I'm going to Aqua Jet your team to death. Ah, uh, that would just... Too much no. Too much, Too much no. <laughs> much power. Such destruction. <laughs> so much death. So much wow. So so we hit like uh, okay. the thirty-five minute mark. <laughs> we we have the funny thing is I had just recently took off the time limit thing for my YouTube channel because. If I had those five video uploads just the other day. It took me like nine hours to edit everything. Oh wow! That's it's what happens when I get distracted. I was talking with, I was trying to edit the two videos. I was actually I was editing one video before I started my uh, rant video with Jenna, and then at the same time I was talking to, like five or six other people. So this is more for like in the future, so I don't like have to spend hours and hours editing ah. because I had. The, yeah, I had the videos cut down to like 20, 30 minute segments, but YouTube's like, nope, you cannot upload this. It's too big for my small body. <laughs> uh, kinky. <laughs> Thank you for that. I, I was wondering if any. <laughs> no, I figured Mega that. Mega Octillery. That would be Johto. Oh, yeah. Qu wait, Quillfish, Johto, or. Quillfish is, is Johto. Um. I'm thinking maybe Mega Gorbis or Mega Huntail. That could be interesting. Mega Bring him up from Mega Cradilly. Yes, Mega Cradilly. I'm picturing it and I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. Everybody's of course expecting or hoping for Mega Flygon. I'm thinking of all the desert Pokemon right now. There weren't many many fire types, were there? There wasn't. It was a pretty uh, watery game. Yeah, but there's Mega Torkoal. Or there's an idea for Mega Torkoal. Yeah. Yeah, make it a Mega Tank. Give it shell armor. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> no more critical hits on Torkoal. I just had a slowpoke moment. A slowpoke moment? Yes. Ooh. I'm like, hmm, Mega Agron. <laughs> I'm like, oh, wait. I can't wait until Pokemon Sapphire comes out. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. I really expect Rayquaza to have a Mega. It would only make sense. Either, yeah, because of that whole uh, thing about it's going to be the origin of Mega Evolutions, or it something like that. To. It has to have Mega Evolutions, or maybe Primal Evolutions were the original form of Mega Evolutions. 
It has to have some. Maybe that might. It'll most likely either be. It will probably have a mega or primal form. I mean, if give it poke. Oh jeez, nobody wants to see mega primal uh, Rayquaza. Nobody wants to see that. It's like I want mass- to see. I got a massive boost to my attack and special attack and speed. Now I'm gonna mega evolve. Oh. Uh... Okay, another thing I really want them to do. I want to have my Pokemon walk with me. I would love that. I never played Heart Gold and Soul Silver, so that would be an opportunity for me. I absolutely love that because in one of my other trainer video, trainer chat videos, I talked about how I have my Alakazam from first generation in X and Y. Ooh. And I loved when I was playing Heart Gold and Soul Silver having my little Alakazam walk around with me. I'm like, yep. I'm a pimp. It's it's going to be hard for me to decide which of the two Pokemon I favor walking aside from me. Would it either be my best buddy, Mighty Anna, or it be Lady Pamela, the Pangoro? Pangoro. Pangoro. I actually want Panda Express now. I hope you're happy. I'm hungry, too. You know what I eat usually on the weekends? What is your weekend food? Ramen. A package for lunch, a package for dinner, and repeat on Sundays. I'm actually staring at a couple of Little Debbie oatmeal cream pie cookies. I love those. They need a Pokemon. They (laughs) They need a Pokemon that looks like one of those. I would catch it. Whoops. (laughs) Oatmealio, the oatmeal cookie Pokemon. Ash, what are you doing? Hey, if they can have an ice cream Pokemon, it's an ice cream Pokemon made of Debbie? ice. It's not actually an ice cream. If they tried licking it, they would freeze to death. Oh, those disturbing Pokedex entries. Oh. All right, yeah. so I'm gonna cut it here because we're like 40 minutes. Oh, I noticed that. You could have stopped me any time. I just like took over the chat. I, that's perfectly fine. That's kind of the point, is for the trainer to chat. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad to be able to talk for, with you about this. Oh, definitely. And if I can come up with any more video topics and Jenna isn't available or whatnot, you are more than welcome to be in another video. All right. I'll definitely do that. Yeah, I actually want to plan one for when I hit 50 subs, just to have, like, this big questionnaire where people just ask me a whole bunch of random questions and tell me what they would like or are wondering about with my channel. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Yeah, hear, hear from the people, see what they want me to do. Uh, I, ha- I do have some big announcements for that. So everybody, thank you for watching. Feel free, to- I will leave a description to his channel in the description so all of you subscribe. Well, the problem is I don't have videos, so, but one day I will have videos. I will be doing Pokemon and Monster Hunter, and yeah, keep watching this awesome guy right here. Oh, thank you so much. All right, everybody, I will harass you all. Okay, not harass. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye, everybody.